Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I received five books all at once today. Uh, four different packages in the mail, but five, uh, five different books. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I thought I'd uh, go through them with you. Uh, the first one I opened was Flowers and Butterflies by Satch and Satch Diva. Now I have had this book and I still have it. It's about half done. Uh, not half done. It's, you know, got lots of messy pages and I wasn't enjoying it when I got it. <clears throat> but what I did find is um, I also sew and do all sorts of stuff and I found that the book um, that I was working in, it had lots of real nice size uh, butterflies that I could use for a pattern and uh, do some needlework and stuff like that with them. And um, I thought, well, let's get another book. Let's get a, a good one so that I can use it strictly for coloring. And then I can use my old one for patterns and stuff. So I'm sure most of you, maybe not, but uh, most of you have probably seen this book. It's a, it's a very nice book. It's got lots of butterflies, lots of flowers, lots of free space. And I've been finding that I really enjoy this book now. This one is a new, uh, new for me, Intricate Patterns by Jade Summer. I really find that I'm enjoying <clears throat> this kind of book at night when I go to bed, uh, you know, just working on a picture with just whatever kind of marker I want, I like the color of. And um, I also find that I really like doing a couple of these in between my uh, bigger, more uh, complicated pictures. So, yeah, like there's beautiful patterns. You can get, you know, take three or four or five pens and just go to town and just relax. So yeah, I, I'm really going to enjoy this book. This one here, Magical Patterns. I got 100 of them by Jade Summer. This is a big book. And I see that it's um, got bigger um, illustrations. Not as complicated as maybe the intricate patterns. And I like that idea. Um, I found in one of the pictures that I did this this month, uh, which will be in my completed pictures, that I enjoyed putting dots on on part of the the illustration. So I think maybe these ones um, will be good for me to doodle in as I'm coloring them. You know, if I don't want to color every little space, I can doodle in some of the spaces. So this is going to be a really uh, creative book for me. Just not just because of the hundred different patterns, but also because of what I can do within the patterns with the, the bigger um, illustrations. Color by number carpets. Um, I really like this. I've seen um, a couple people do a flip through and I, I was really intrigued. I, <laughs> I really like the idea because it's so um, how do I say this? It's symmetrical, most of them. So it makes sense when my eyes look at it and my brain tries, tries to comprehend it. So I, I love these. And yes, you don't have to do, you know, I can do my own color combinations. It's no big deal. But I do like this black background. It means there's no lines, you know, when you're done. So it's a very interesting book. Now this is the one I've been waiting for for a little while. It's Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions, a coloring book by Hannah Lynn. And I got the artist edition. I do have a coloring book from Hannah Lynn and it's on uh, Amazon paper and I enjoy the designs in that book the illustrations and I don't enjoy so much working with the paper and I thought I'd like to to get one that was on really good quality paper and so when I saw that they had an artist edition of this one I thought, heck why not so I've this is actually you know um, gonna be a pretty special book for me so I might do a little bit of a flip through here for you. Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and it's a signed edition so that makes it really nice. She gives little wee um, thumbnails and a title for every picture. 
I don't know if there's two sets in here or just one, but I really like the paper. And I find that I'm, I'm not knocking Coloring Heaven, but a lot of times when uh, Coloring Heaven has a book featuring um, an artist, sometimes the pictures are just too big. They're not, um, like this picture would be bigger in that book because it is a bigger magazine. So this really um, appeals to me because it this is the way it was intended to be. The paper is so nice. I've been really enjoying my Holbein's and my Luminance lately. I think they're going to do work really well on this paper. I just seem to think that, just myself, maybe my skill level, uh, when I'm working on Amazon paper, I'm sometimes not satisfied. And I know a lot of people do beautiful work on Amazon paper, so, you know, their skill, le skill level may is obviously um, different than mine. So I just thought, huh, let, let's get some good paper, try it out. Oh, I love this one. Look at her, isn't she cute? Little heart-shaped face and those bangs. Oh, yes, there is two of each one. Okay, one's uh, more intricate and one's less intricate. Okay, that's good. That's good. That doesn't bother me so much. Sometimes I just, yeah, two copies of one page is just sometimes, uh, yeah. <laughs> can, can, girl. They're so beautiful. You have such big eyes. Oh, look at that coming up for Easter. Somebody's having a baby. Hmm. Yeah, the paper is gorgeous. Graduation day. Somebody's getting married. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna really enjoy this book. Oh, wow. I could hardly wait to do that one. I could do them in different ways. Do you know what my granddaughter did? She just amazed me. The book she was working on was a Sherry Baldy one that I had given her. And it had the page that was the same right behind it. So she colored the first page in warm colors. And then she colored the second page in cold colors, cool colors. And then she folded the first page in half so you could see both at the same time. Like, she's 11. I thought, what a fantastic idea. Not with this book, because obviously the, the uh, ring is up there. But for that other uh, Hannah Lynn book that I have, they are right behind each other. So that might be something I do with that one, be a little bit more intriguing. Turkey Day. Hanukkah. And Christmas. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is a beautiful book. And there you have it. Blotter or a practice sheet. So everyone, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. It went pretty fast. I was talking a lot and talking pretty fast. But uh, that's my new coloring books that I've received. I know some of them are a little bit older. But it doesn't matter. They're still new to me. 
Thanks everyone for being here. See you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.